Hey weirdos, it's Victor and lately I've been obsessing over the dog filter on Snapchat. And that's why I asked all you guys on Snapchat to send me your best dog Snapchat photos. And here they are. You all sent so many wonderful dog photos and they were really fun to watch and you are so cute! You're super cute! Look at all of these! Thank you guys so much! But enough about dogs, because a couple of videos ago I told you guys about my boyfriend and I got a lot of comments from you guys telling me that he should poof into my videos more often. So, poof! Hello! <laughs> I'm nervous. No, don't be. <laughs> so this is my boyfriend Kenneth. Hey guys! I'm the lucky one. <laughs> so today, me and Kenneth are going to do the boyfriend tag. Because a lot of you requested that. Are you ready for the boyfriend tag? I think so. Let's get started. Let's get started. The first question is, where did we meet? Uh, we met actually through your cousin. Because Victor's cousin was, uh, or is still, my, one of my best friends. She took me on this uh, trip to Oslo. So we met here in Oslo at the National Theater. At the National Theater. Yes. Quite a theatrical place to meet, don't you think? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Where was our first date? Our first date was actually at Alex Sushi. We both love sushi very much and he wanted to bring me some place. Fancy. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to make a good first impression and it's it's quite a fancy place. Yes. Yeah. Alex Sushi is a fancy sushi restaurant at a beautiful place here in Oslo. With a beautiful view. Yes. Do you remember what I told you? Yes, that was the most <laughs> cliche thing ever. I told him, oh my god, there, there's such a beautiful view from here. And I looked out the window and saw this big castle there is here in, here in Oslo. And then... <laughs> it's so cliche! And then he turned to me and said, well, I have the most beautiful view. And then he looked deep into my eyes. <laughs> Quite nice, huh? <laughs> That's cute. <laughs> oh my god, I'm blushing now. <laughs> what was your first impression of me? Um, I was struggling to get like a clear first impression. I remember when we met you at the National Theater. Yeah. You were very full of energy and just bring me into the group even though you and your cousin obviously known each other for a long time I felt like I've known you for my whole life and it didn't take long before I warmed up to you and yeah you were so full of energy and, and life and I like that Oh, my first impression of you well that was that I guess it was uh, that you were handsome. <laughs> wow. <laughs> deep, deep, deep stuff. Yeah. Well, you did. You did look handsome, and you, you looked kind. So you looked kind and handsome. Yeah, yeah. And that's a plus. That's a plus because you don't like bad boys. <laughs> Okay, <clears throat> moving on. Moving on. <laughs> I've told you I'm like from the middle of Norway and he's from way up north in Lofoten. It's really beautiful there. And a picture. <laughs> there's a picture. Picture of Lofoten. Picture of Lofoten. <laughs> Do I have any weird obsessions? And if so, <laughs> what? Well, <laughs> where to start? What? I haven't got that many. We can start with 
Disney. That's not a weird obsession. It's not weird, but okay. It is an obsession. Like, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it is yeah. an obsession. A weird obsession. Um, well, you've gotten a quite weird obsession lately with drag queens. Mm. <laughs> well, so do you! Well, <laughs> so. Uh, <laughs> that goes for the both of yeah. us. So, every, Wave her, every yeah. time I'm like, Victor, what are you doing? And he's like, oh, I'm just on YouTube. And I'm like, what are you watching? And it's always some drag queen. So, what are my obsessions? Um. Old people stuff. <laughs> old people stuff? <laughs> yes! It's like old people's chocolate, old people candy, old people newspapers. <laughs> I don't know how many times one of your friends have commented like, you see like 90 years old. Yes. <laughs> my friend like, yeah. My friends thinks he is an old man. Yeah. Yes, and he pretty much is. How long have we been together? We have been together for almost 2 years. Yes, a couple of weeks and then it's our 2 year anniversary. You kept me out of the spotlight for all that time. Yes, I have. Because I've actually... I'm focused on making my own channel and my own name yeah. before bringing in someone else. So I've actually been lurking in the backgrounds of all the video ever since Victor started. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> actually, and some of the videos you can actually see him. If you like go back to yeah. some videos, you there can find some, him some suddenly there. Kenneth Easter eggs. Kenneth Easter eggs. <laughs> if you have seen Kenneth in some of my last videos and some other videos, please comment in the comment section and we'll see if you can find him mm. somewhere. Do we have a tradition? <laughs> Do we? I don't know. I, I feel our lives are just so changing all yes. the time. Like we haven't gotten to like no, we've never really settled no. for one thing or one place or anything. So we have we haven't really made a tradition, have we? No. But we have those kind of small traditions, I think. Yeah, one tradition, and that I, I like it. Because my school doesn't start until 12 every day, so I always sleep to 10. But he has to get up at early in the morning. And every day before after he wakes up, before he leaves, he comes in and, and kisses me goodbye. Yes. And or the days... he sometimes jump attack me. And, <laughs> <laughs> and if I get to sleep longer than him, he also comes yeah. and kisses me goodbye. So before it's not leaving. allowed to leave the apartment without having a goodbye kiss. No. Yeah. That's kind of a tradition. That's a tradition. Yeah. What do we argue about the most? Well, the th funny thing is, I don't feel that we argue Almost ever. No, we rarely argue. Uh, and that's something I really like. But sometimes he's like all over the place. He's <laughs> way too clingy. Yes, sometimes. So he's like the one or the other. Sometimes he closes himself off in his bedroom and I'm like, what are you doing? And other times he's like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> And if I'm already in a bad mood or like grump in the morning yeah, and fun. he starts clinging and right. being like really mushy, I get a little... Sometimes I need attention and I love trying to get attention when Victor <laughs> doesn't want to give me the attention. Like mm. in the morning because you're not a morning person and then I find it really funny to <laughs> pick on him. <laughs> And then I can snap. Yeah. And then it'll be a it's little like argument. <laughs> Who wears the pants in the relationship? I I think I like to think I wear the pants and But he doesn't. And and I like to have like or feel like I have the control. But I, I think that when all comes to all, Victor is always the one taking the biggest uh, Decision. Yes, I'm yeah, always, always the one. The last word. Yeah, I have the last word. If I'm watching TV, what am I watching? 
you are watching RuPaul's Drag Race with me. <laughs> yes, but if I'm watching TV without you, what am oh, I watching? You're watching some cliche uh, teenage drama move series. Pretty Little Liars, Vampire Diaries. I'm not watching Vampire Diaries. Why? Love. Why do? Why do people? <laughs> why do people keep saying that I'm watching Vampire Diaries? I don't. And what about Game of Thrones? Yeah, but those we watch together. Like the cool shows we watch together because I like cool shows. <laughs> so let's move on to what he is watching. What am I watching? News. News. He's watching the news. Yeah, yeah, yes. it might be. You might be, you're always watching the news. It's like, I want to, I turn up the music and want to have some music on, on in the apartment and want to listen to some music. And suddenly the music's off and the news are on. <laughs> always! Well, and important. don't get me wrong, it's, it's a be, good thing. Yeah, it's, it's important to be yes. updated on what's happening yes, that's in good. the world. Yes, that's good. But you're always watching the news. <laughs> what is one talent I have? You can sing, <laughs> you can dance, you can entertain. entertain. You're a very good entertainer. Like always when Victor is at a party, it's a blast because he <laughs> always like puts his energy all over the room and everybody brings everybody in the good mood, start drinking games, yeah. You're like really good at everything that's happening. It's like, when we're talking about the news, I'm not really kidding. He knows everything. He knows what's happening everywhere. And he's out to save the world, really. That's my mission. That's his mission. He wants to save the world, and that is actually something he's pretty good at. He's fighting for good causes and getting, uh, and getting all deep in those politics stuff <laughs> that I like to call it. <laughs> it's always the question when Victor's like, Getting the question from his friend, what's Kenneth doing? Oh, some p p politics stuff. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what to say. <laughs> at least he's good at saving the world and working for good causes. So that's our mission. I'm about to save the world and he will bring the world joy. I forgot but I'm word. also trying to save the world. I'm trying to like save the world with everyone being themselves and stop bullying and really, yeah. yeah. Don't just be what every, everyone else wants you to be. Be yourself. No, be yourself. And find your own path and walk on your own journey. And your own passion. Yeah. Yeah. What is my eye color? Green. Green. Blue. <laughs> what is a thing you're doing that I wish you didn't do? When I'm reading or concentrating the whole world besides what I'm doing or behind what I'm doing just fades away. So when he's talking to me and I'm reading an article or something, playing a game, like I can't, I can't even if I want to reply, I can't um, before I stop doing what I'm doing. <laughs> it's weird. <laughs> yes, that's yeah. weird. And, and that uh, I know has been annoying sometimes. Because I'm a really social person and yeah. I like to talk and I like to have a conversation and when I'm trying to have a conversation and someone's not answering me... Yeah, you don't like being shut out. No, I don't like being shut out. Shut up. The one thing I do that you don't like or you don't want me to do is Tickle you and bite you. He's a tickler and a biter. I'm a tickler and a biter. <laughs> and I hate both of them. <laughs> Bonus question! What Hogwarts house am I in? You are Gryffindor! Yay! And you are Ravenclaw! What? Why? Why? Because... It's like the intelligent people <laughs> who deals with politics and stuff. You depend on knowledge. You depend on cunning and charm. Mm. Yeah. You depend on charisma, nerve, uniqueness and talent. I should be on RuPaul's Drag Race.
<laughs> so that was us doing the boyfriend tag. So please, if you liked it, comment, like, and subscribe. And don't forget to stay weird. And we will see you guys later. Goodbye, guys. Bye. <laughs>